Welcome at Gallery Anna 25. I'm Anna, not 25 anymore. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you here at my gallery space and see the photographs by Heike Huber. Heike Huber is a uh, Berlin artist and he makes for this exhibition landscape with gun and chandeliers and yeah, that's <laughs> exhibition with landscapes. Uh, he got into different places where he photographed them from different angles and then he layered the photographs over each other so he get this effect that it's more a painting than a photograph so it was his aim not to make a, a photograph but to make more of a painting and that's actually one of the key themes in my gallery i focus on contemporary landscapes unconventional photographs and things in between and yeah Heike Huber is my great example for this three themes and it's from different places, like he was in Poland, he was in Austria, he was in Berlin, so it's from different places uh, where he could travel while COVID because he couldn't go like to Asia or anywhere, but it's like near Germany and a little bit next to it. I focus on this exhibition on two sizes, like the bigger ones and uh, the small ones and all are framed in natural frames which the artist did himself, so he <laughs> went there and customed the frames for every uh, picture he made, so it's also like a yeah, great friend. <laughs> Why wow, this green is... He also told me he accidentally uh, captured the four seasons because he of course was going away for the whole year and he like, captured winter, summer and, and autumn but of, um, yeah, autumn and uh, spring and summer you can't really tell apart because it's getting green and he didn't get like to a yard with a lot of uh, flowers but one of the green ones is for sure in the spring. And do you know also what would uh, this landscape come from? Like, this is not Germany. This is actually next to Berlin. It's Teufelsberg in Berlin, so it's like even there. Uh, this is, as I remember, in Poland uh, as well as that. And this is in, uh, yeah, in, in Berlin and in, in Forest in Berlin. But actually, the artist didn't want to uh, put the places in the titles of let the people know because it's not important where it was catch and uh, taken the picture because it's more important like the outcome and the thing which happens to you. For him it was very important that this exhibition is not uh, loaded with meaning and loaded with things you go, you, you have. It's more like the most important you come here and you feel relax and you feel good and you can like come into nature without going into nature so like, you look at the painting and you can really go away with your head and see yeah see new things yeah 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 i think the energy though like oh, we got... one of my favorite photograph is this one from this exhibition uh, because um, I don't know if you um, know when you are child you have sometimes this uh, colorful pictures which are very abstract but when you look long at it there appears like a car of anything and this reminds me a little bit of that even though there doesn't anything ever appear but it seems more like if you look at it from different angles it moves with you and it's so much movement in this picture when you see it live and then you go in it near it and then you're like oh that's actually leaves and that's photographs and it's like no movement at all. If <laughs> you go far away, it's like wow, I can really <laughs> dance with the leaves. Yeah, it's true. Like basically like from here it doesn't you don't even like figure what this yeah. what's happening like that. Like it's crazy. 
Would that kind of thing be used? No, it's uh, really just a photograph and then lay it over each other. But well, how the technique is exactly, uh, the artist didn't tell me because it's like an artist's secret. Because I also had already like this and said, like, oh yeah, I already tried it at home. It's so difficult. <laughs> Like always this, oh, it looks so easy when you describe it, but actually to make it look good is really difficult and you need um, time to develop a good technique so it looks good. And the artist decided to make nine photographs for the exhibition, but he would have in the backpack 900 more, he said. Like he has a lot of uh, pictures he took, but uh, yeah, he didn't want like to go through all because it would have take ages, and he decided he just takes nine of the best. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Sure>. yeah. <laughs>